Today, we're answering the most asked question. What performance boost did I see in the Super Stinson after swapping the Franklin 165 for the Lycoming 0360? Stay tuned because we're going to use real-world GPS data to compare takeoff distances, climb rates, and top speed. This is going to answer the questions everyone's been asking. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. So I ditched the Franklin 165 and installed the Lycoming 0360. Now that's an increase in horsepower and a decrease in weight, but it didn't stop there. I also swapped out the old aluminum fixed pitch propeller for a Super Cub Sensenich carbon fiber ground adjustable propeller. And guess what? The Stinson Blue Suede shoes shed 35 pounds in the process, meaning it's lighter and sportier than ever before. All right, the most asked question is how much faster? Now, when you look at speed, uh, it's a balance. Increase the speed, you increase the drag, burning more fuel, gaining a little speed. That's why the old engineers designed these planes with an engine that matched the hull. You can toss a lot of horsepower and a lot of fuel to gain a little bit of speed, but unless you have large fuel tanks, you're not going to go very far. With this Lycoming, I was playing a different game. Sure, I might not be breaking any land speed records, but I'm seeing numbers on the airspeed indicator that seem to be higher than with the Franklin. We're talking maybe five or six miles per hour when the propeller is pitched for cruise, but I'm burning one to one and a half gallons fewer per hour. This changes the range of the plane from just under 350 miles to a little over 400 miles with 30 minutes reserve. I'm not going much faster, but it makes the Stinson a lot more useful for traveling. But it's not about speed. Takeoff distance is one of the primary reasons for this conversion. Remember with the Franklin, I needed around 300 to 350 feet to get airborne in my standard flight configuration. And that's me and half tanks of fuel. With the Lycoming and the new prop, I was hoping for about 250 foot takeoff using standard tail high technique in a similar flight configuration. What I found is my ground roll is consistently between 200 and 250 feet. Uh, with some better short field techniques and practice, I'm sure I can shave some more off that. The Lycoming has decreased my ground rule by almost 30%. That's a significant improvement and better than I was hoping for. The other primary reason for the change in the front was the rate of climb and climb distance over the trees. Now, measuring climb rate in real world isn't easy. Thermals, wind, density, altitude all play a role. Luckily, I had a lot of video with GPS data embedded from before the change to compare with GPS data after. And after analyzing data from multiple flights with similar conditions, I found a clear trend. With the Franklin, I was looking at 800 to 1100 feet per minute, with 900 to 1000 being average. But with the Lycoming and the prop pitch per climb, I'm constantly hitting 14 to 1,700 feet per minute. That's around a 50% increase in rate of climb. This has shortened my takeoff distance over a 100-foot obstacle to just under 1,000 feet. This is the type of change I was hoping for. Now, of course, there's a trade-off. When I pitch the prop for maximum climb, cruise speed drops by about 5 miles per hour from where it was with the Franklin and the old propeller. But here's the thing. I'm burning less fuel than with the Franklin at a slower cruise speed. So I'm trading a little bit of speed for significantly better takeoff performance, a monstrous climb rate, and potentially longer range. So what's the verdict? The Lycoming upgrade has been pretty much what I expected. A slight increase in speed and range, nearly a 30% decrease in takeoff distance, and climb to 100 feet along with rate of climb increase that's nearly 50% higher. I didn't mention that I can hold a thousand feet per minute climb up to an altitude of 7,000 feet. You couldn't do that with the Franklin. The engine and prop work together perfectly, giving me the flexibility to optimize performance for any mission. Whether I'm flying to some friend's backyard for Michigan farm field flying, or simply enjoying a longer flight to the Upper Peninsula, blue suede shoes is a joy to fly. And the best part, I'm still learning its potential. So stay tuned for more adventures and performance updates. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. 
And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for more great Michigan Bush Company flying. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Scooter out. Uh, there's a lot of engine options for this. And uh, I say a lot. We got the Franklin 165. We could get a Franklin 220. I could do a Lycoming 180. I could do a 470. Everybody likes to like uh, the Continental 470. So there were a few things with the 470. With the Dash 2 and 40 uh, gallons of gas, 36 usable. At 12, 13 gallons an hour, that's not much range, two hours. I did not like that. It's a heavier engine. CG shift forward. And then you need to put a constant speed propeller on it. CG shift forward, lots of useful load and poor range. Um, while it is going to climb better and probably have a little bit more in cruise, to me that didn't, that wouldn't meet the mission of the airplane that I wanted. Franklin 165, just, you know, getting a, redoing that Franklin 165 when, the, when its lifetime came to an end. I, I didn't want the Franklin anymore. I, I didn't trust Franklin engines. The parts are, I, I mean, they're not difficult to come by. But at the rate I flew it and how often I flew it in the missions I flew it in, it seemed to have an attrition issue. It's smooth. It sounds phenomenal. But for the mission I was doing, the 165 didn't work. So you go to the 220. The 220 was interesting. A lot of horsepower, similar weight. You do get a little CG shift forward with the propeller. But it came back to that Franklin. I, I'm sure it's more robust than the 165 was. But I'm not sure it was as robust as I wanted it. Really, that left the Lycoming 0360. But what do I like about the 360? One thing I love about the 360 is it's a horribly reliable engine. Its weight was 15 pounds less than the 165, so I lost weight. Well, its fuel burn is down below the 165 at, you know, 9, 9.5. You can get it down to 8.5 depending on your, you know, your profile, what kind of speeds you're looking for. With the Lycoming 0360, I got extra horsepower, lighter fuel burn, longer range, and more uh, useful load.